and welcome back to the Ariel Views. My name is Ariel, and if you didn't already know, I am a travel nurse, and I travel nurse with my boyfriend, Oscar. Right now, he is out fishing, so it's just gonna be me today. It's been a minute. It has been a long time since I posted videos, so I am so sorry. A lot of stuff has happened in the past few weeks, in the past few months. I'm working on getting out all those videos to you as soon as I can. It's just been crazy. So, we have officially finished our assignment in Virginia. It was the most incredible experience exploring Virginia for three months, meeting so many amazing people, getting through our first travel nurse assignment. It was just an amazing experience. I actually have a lot of videos already posted on Virginia. I think about maybe two or three just about the things that we've done. So I'll leave those linked below and you can also access them up here. It's been quite a while since I posted a video and I'm so sorry about that. I think I have about six videos that are still pending to be edited and posted. I'm going to try my hardest to get those up to you guys on a weekly basis. Bear with me because we are actually in our brand new assignment state, which is... Washington! So excited to be here. My brother actually lives here with his family. That was another big reason for us wanting to come out this way for this assignment. We'll catch you guys up on all of those things in the weeks to come. Also, you may have noticed I am sitting in a different place. That is another really big life update for you guys that I will be posting very soon, but I will give you all a hint. It is something that we are taking with us on all of our assignments from here on out. But you guys will probably guess it. You can leave a comment below if you think you know what it is, but I will post that update in the next video so stay tuned for that so today I kind of wanted to do like a conclusion video of Virginia we did a lot more exploring after those last few videos that I mentioned this video is gonna kind of just wrap up Virginia give you guys a little bit of a picture of what we did in our last few weeks there I'm really excited to share that with you guys if you plan on visiting Virginia make sure you check out those other videos that I mentioned Keep watching this one so you can see what else we got up to. So you guys might have seen in the last video that I posted, the historic triangle, that we were headed to Virginia Beach. So that's the other thing that we did do in Virginia that we really loved. We did go kind of at a cold time. It was like the end of March, April. It was still pretty cold there, but it was still an awesome place to explore. So I'm going to give you guys some of the, the main things that we really liked to do there. The first thing that I recommend doing when you go to Virginia Beach is to explore the oceanfront and the boardwalk. There are so many shops and restaurants and they even have a separate bike and walking path. Um, so you can choose to bike it, you can choose to walk it. We actually were provided bikes from our Airbnb, so we decided to bike it. It was super cold. You can see in the videos we were wearing sweaters, gloves. It was very, very cold that day, but it was a really fun way to kind of explore the oceanfront and the boardwalk. Definitely make sure you check out the King Neptune statue. That's kind of like the iconic statue of Virginia Beach. Of course, if you're going to Virginia Beach, you'll want to check out the beach itself. It's super family friendly. We did sit on the beach for sunset one of the nights. One of the things that we did also do in Virginia Beach was we checked out the aquarium. The aquarium that's there is incredible. There's so many fun things to see, so much to learn. Um, I think we spent like a good two hours or so just enjoying the aquarium and all the animals that are there. They have like a rehabilitation center as well for turtles and wildlife that, you know, they find that need rehab. So definitely check out the aquarium if you are there and if you have the time. If you guys didn't know already, we love to hike and we love to be outdoors. So right in Virginia Beach, there's actually a state park called First Landing State Park. This state park was actually the site of where the English colonists first landed in America before they went down to Jamestown and settled there. There's about 20 miles of trails and it's right there on the beach as well. So it was a really unique experience because you have like freshwater ponds, saltwater marshes, you have swamps, you have forest you have the beach and it's just a really unique state park to explore. The next thing that we did when we went to Virginia Beach, which we highly, highly recommend, is visiting the Cavalier Hotel. This hotel was actually built in 1927, I believe. It was recently renovated, I'm not sure how many years ago. But it was so amazing. You can obviously either stay there or you can just visit. It's so beautiful. The little gardens on the outside are incredible. The restaurant inside is really nice. I would recommend making reservations, especially if you want to do dinner. We just did lunch. They say that this hotel is actually what put Virginia Beach on the map, just because there were so many famous people that stayed there in the 1920s. People like F. Scott Fitzgerald, his wife Zelda, Bob Hope, Judy Garland, the list goes on. Definitely recommend checking that out if you guys find yourself in Virginia Beach. So another really great place that we visited in Virginia was called Great Falls National Park. 
We actually didn't have this on our list of things to see. It's kind of a funny story. This day we actually had plans to go to a place in Yogaville, Virginia. And yes, that is a real place and I did not make that up. It's called Lotus. So Lotus stands for Light of Truth Universal Shrine. So the Lotus is described as a shrine dedicated to interfaith understanding and light within all faiths. So I was really looking forward to visiting this shrine, but unfortunately it was closed the day that we went. As far as I understand, it's been closed for a while, most likely due to COVID. We were able to fly the drone just kind of right around outside of it. And as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. It's right there in the mountains. I'm sure in the summer, in the fall, it would be gorgeous, but the shrine itself is absolutely beautiful as well. So if you find yourself in Virginia on an assignment or just traveling through, I would highly recommend checking out the shrine. That was our original plan. Of course, it was closed. So with a whole half a day to spare, we decided to drive to Great Falls National Park, which was actually on the way to the other place that we were going this day. Great Falls National Park is kind of right between Virginia and Washington, D.C. It's really close to both. It's super easy to walk to the falls just from the parking lot, so it does not take long. You can hike if you want to, but if you're just there like us, just for a quick stop, you can easily walk to the falls from the parking lot. It actually worked out that we didn't get to go to Lotus because I'm really happy we got to see Great Falls National Park. So the next stop we made this day was to a tulip farm in Noakesville, Virginia. I believe it's called Burnside Farms, if I'm not mistaken. If not, I'll correct it and I'll leave it here. It was really high on our list because we were in Virginia in the springtime. Coming from West Texas, we don't really get spring. It's just, you know, more like a soft summer. <laughs> so we don't really get like beautiful flowers blooming and we don't really get that sort of experience. If you are going in Virginia, make sure you check on what's in season during the time you're there because they have tons of farms, lavender farms in the summer, sunflowers, I believe in the fall. I could be wrong about that. See which farms are nearby to you and then go ahead and visit them because it was a really cool experience. We did go on the last day, so the fields were actually pretty empty, but it was still really nice to pick our own tulips, take some really cute pictures. Something that we noticed about Virginia was how incredible their state parks are. Like, I feel like everywhere you go in Virginia, there's a state park there, or there's a historical landmark there. It's just unbelievable how much is in Virginia, especially if you're like us and if you like outdoorsy type of stuff. But one of the state parks that was actually pretty close to where we were assigned was called Natural Bridge State Park. There's just a really easy path that you can take. You go right under the natural bridge. You can continue to walk along the trail and then it will take you all the way to a really pretty waterfall called Lace Falls. I can't exactly remember how many miles it is. It's not far at all. Legend has it that a young George Washington actually climbed up into the bridge itself and carved his initials GW maybe about 23 feet up. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. So the last two things that we did on our last few days off in Virginia were more hikes. This one is super amazing and incredible and maybe might be my favorite hike that we did. This hike is located in Grayson Highlands State Park. On this hike, you are literally greeted by wild ponies. That's like a dream come true. I mean, can you imagine hiking and then there's just wild ponies right there? So it's cool to imagine that these ponies just magically appeared here, but they were actually purposely placed here to help eat all the shrubs and plants that other animals didn't want to eat. And it turns out that a lot of these plants were kind of overgrowing the area. I'm not sure who put the ponies there, but I know that they placed them there strategically so they would eat all of that stuff that they didn't want there. Technically, they're considered wild because they don't rely on humans for water, food, or any other means for survival. But I guess it's debatable because they didn't naturally arrive there. I consider them wild, but I guess it's debatable. By the way, going to Grayson Highlands State Park is a super amazing experience. It was only a couple hours from where we were assigned. Ponies are really actually very friendly. You aren't supposed to touch them, but a lot of times they'll just come right up to you. Especially the ones that are this cute. We broke the rules, I'm sorry. We pet them, we did not feed them. We did follow that rule, of course, so don't ever feed any wild animals, but how can you not pet the wild pony? So the last hike that we took in Virginia was also super incredible. This was our last day trip during our time there. It was called Devil's Bathtub. Surprisingly, a lot of people that I spoke to from Virginia hadn't really heard of this hike. Maybe just a few had. Be warned though, you do have to cross the river. I think it was about 
nine to ten times. Oscar brought water shoes so he could just walk through the water. I just walked along the rocks on top. But you can choose to do either or. If you have bad balance or you're a little bit worried about that, just make sure you rethink this hike before you go on it, only because we wouldn't want you getting hurt or anything. So once you get there, you're greeted by these beautiful blue green pools that are just absolutely clear. You can just see to the bottom of them. And then if you hike just a little bit up onto where the water pools are, just above them, you'll actually see Devil's Bathtub. And there's like a little waterfall that runs through it. And it's just like this super deep, beautiful emerald green pool. It was just incredible. Virginia just really, really amazed us with all the things that we could do there. Just keep that in mind if you do want to go. The water is really, really cold, but it could be really refreshing, especially if you're hiking in the summertime. Again, I would recommend bringing water shoes for this portion of the hike, especially if you want to get in the water or at least stand in the water. It's really slippery and there's a little bit of moss around the area. So definitely bring your water shoes so you're not barefoot. It just gives you a little bit more stability and traction as you're walking through the water. We just really wanted to highlight all those amazing things that we did at the end of our assignment in Virginia. I'm sorry that I didn't make a video for each. I just figured I could just throw them all together. If you guys are in Virginia, you can check out any of these spots. Again, we had such an amazing time in Virginia. We actually considered extending there, but like I said, my brother's up here in Washington, so we thought it would be a great time to visit, especially because it's summertime. Washington is also really beautiful, especially this time of year. But if you are ever in Virginia, I hope that you check out some of these places also remember I do have other videos that I've posted about the other places that we've been in Virginia if you are a travel nurse definitely put Virginia on your list we're so happy that we were there for our first assignment so thanks again for watching this video guys I really hope you enjoyed watching all the other things that we did in Virginia if you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss any more of aerial views I am gonna be working my butt off to get all those other videos edited and posted over the next few weeks including a tour of this lovely place that I'm in right now and also some packing videos and just some more videos about what we're up to. Also, you guys can find us on TikTok if you search at that travel nurse couple. We also have a separate Instagram specifically for travel nurse stuff. We're super excited to continue taking you guys along these journeys with us and we'll see you next time. <laughs>